What's going on? It's your boy Tunnel Vision, and we are back, man. It's dark out here, man, so the light's a little off, but bear with me when it comes to that. You have to get up early today. It's snowing, there's ice. You know what I mean? So I have to get up a little extra early and handle this appointment so I can get out early and on time. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to work all damn day like normal people. But anyways, yo, what's going on with Gary Russell, man? What's going on with Gary Russell? And um, no one's talking about him whatsoever. So I still want to keep my tap on, you know, what the, what, what the dude is doing. And right now, we haven't heard anything from him. Um, it seems as if he's going on to hibernation. Um, he had a... He's supposed to fight a mandatory. He has a mandatory supposed to be coming up that he's supposed to be fighting. In his last fight, for whatever reason, he didn't fight the guy. So... I'm not sure what exactly is going on with that. But he's quiet right now. You know? And the question I was asking myself was, you know, what should he be doing exactly? What what should be his plan and, and what moves should he be making? Now, we know that Javante Tank Davis moved up to 135 pounds. And he's chasing Lomachenko right now. But he might still come down, you know, jump between 130 and 135. He might come down for a Leo Santa Cruz uh, pay-per-view bout sometime in the, in the in the first half of next year. We have to see, you know, if that does happen. So I mean, Gary Russell, there's really nothing for him at 126 pounds. Um, Shakur Stevenson is going to the UK uh, for unification. So I mean, if Gary Russell wanted to, and Shakur season, uh, Stevenson, he has the belt right now. So if Shakur wanted, I mean, so if Russell wanted, he could push for that bout. He could, you know, get ham on social media and, you know, he could start pushing the narrative and pushing the issue about the fact that, you know, that guy got to come see him due to the fact that he's the top dog right now at 126 pounds. Um, but with, with that guy, with him being signed to top rank, top rank ain't going to set that fight up for nothing. They're not doing it. Um, their whole focus actually right now is doing a lot of fights in overseas for whatever reason um sending all their fighters overseas except the eastern european fighters they're keeping them right here and they're trying to build them up in america and they're shipping everybody else out overseas to fight but it is what it is um i think right now the best move for gary russell would be to move up to 130 pounds because he's a wbc champion at 126 pounds he can drop the belt move up and automatically become the mandatory and I'm guessing they won't give Burchell the franchise belt. <laughs> I guess they won't. So, oh, the, the franchise designation, because that's not a belt or championship. WCB, WBC let that uh, be known. So, I mean, what he could do is, I think he should do that. He should have already done it. And his next, his next fight coming up right now should be against Burchell. It's not, but it should be. He could have uh, fought Burchell, and he can become the, the champion at 130 pounds. WBC champion. Um, after that, he needs to set up a deal with um, the zone. Maybe go do a one fight at the zone and fight Tevin Farmer. And do a unification with Tevin Farmer. Even if he has to take a short on the money, he should still go there and he should do that bout with Tevin Farmer. He does that bout, if they're able to set that up, now he's a unified champion at that weight class. And after that, he can see about getting the other belts in that weight class as well. One of them, Santa Cruz has a belt. I don't see Santa Cruz fighting him <laughs> at all. Or maybe he can get the other belt and have three straps around his waist. You know, and then maybe put himself into a space where, hey, maybe a Santa Cruz will fight him if Santa Cruz doesn't fight Tank. Or if Tank comes back down and gets a WBO belt, Maybe then you'll be at the space where you're sitting on two, maybe three belts, you know, and you hold some weight. Plus, you've been active and people have been talking about you. So, if Javante Tank Davis doesn't fight, let's say if he did, after he fights Santa Cruz, if he wasn't going to fight Lomachenko, you got two, you got a minimum two belts, and a fight between you two now is actually a really big fight. It's a pay-per-view fight. So now you put Javante Tank Davis in the space where he can go back to back on pay-per-view. 
doing big bouts and making a lot of money off of it. You know, Javante Tank Davis about to fight in December against um, against Gamboa in Atlanta. After that, I mean, you, if you got those other two, after that he fights Santa Cruz, you fight a Jav a Tevin Farmer, then you have that unification with Tank. You know, probably the end of next year, and have it at the Barclays. That's a perfect place for those two. Have this big, huge um, bout in the Barclays. Or if you want to, you can go have another fight in Atlanta. But just have a big, huge, massive fight. Or depending on when, you know, you guys do your other bouts, you can have it on Juneteenth in Atlanta. In a massive fight for the culture. You could do that. But he hasn't moved up in weight, so he's not fighting a bird shell. And according to him, he wouldn't fight Tevin Farmer because... It's not a lot of this quote. Not it doesn't make business sense. That there's no money in it. Somehow there's no money in that fight. So I don't know. This is what he should do, but I believe what's going to happen is he's going to go to hibernation. He's going to stay there for a long time, and he's going to come back out. He's going to start talking about someone. He's going to fight his mandatory. We're going to do this song and dance again for about two months or so. And then he's going to disappear again. You know, and it's no, it's no hate on him. It's just this is what we've seen for the last, like, four years or so. So this is just from experience. You know, you get with a girl, she cheats on you. You break up with her, you get back with her, she cheats on you again. You break up with her, you get back with her, she cheats on you again. You get back with her, she cheats on you again. The fifth time when she cheats on you, you shouldn't be shocked or surprised. So... Unless he shows us, you know, any different, this is what we should expect from him. But that's what he should be doing. That's the biggest move that he could make right now would be to go to 130 and get two of those belts. Try to get even a third one, you know. So if Lomachenko decides to come down, he basically kind of has to see you because you're holding all those straps. You know, Tank is there, come down to 130, that's a big fight. Actually for Tank, you put yourself into the space where it's a big fight. Kind of like Dante Wilder did. Kind of like um, Earl Spence did. Earl Spence put himself into the space where now Sean Porter will fight him. He put himself into a space where Danny Garcia was supposed to fight Danny Garcia. You know what I mean? Or even now, Keith Thurman will fight him because there's big money in Earl Spence. But he had to work to get there. And if Gary Russell wants to be a superstar and he wants to get those big fights, um, they're not going to be handed to you. You're going to have to go get it. Just like the likes of Earl Spence did. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.